we bought an abandoned mansion that's been sitting empty for over five years. And well, we found some pretty interesting stuff. Enjoy the video. All right, we just got some breakfast here. Gonna hop in the truck here and we'll get going. So roughly two weeks ago, an old abandoned mansion came up for sale on an auction site. Now on the site, they didn't show too much of what was actually on the property, just a few little pictures there, but I took a risk and ended up buying it. So we're headed out there today to check it out. If we're either gonna make money or lose some. Also, if you guys enjoyed today's video, Give that like button a little tap. It helps the video out a ton, and I appreciate it so much. Anyway, I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, here we are. Dang. Um, <laughs> It looks like this place has seen some better days. So it's actually right next to a farm here, but uh, this is separate. So all we bought is this little chunk of land here with whatever is here. So the story I got when I bought this place is it's been abandoned for roughly three years. They were doing construction on it. And the place just got abandoned. No idea what happened. They didn't give me a story on that. But luckily for us, I don't think this place has been vandalized. But we're going to try to explore the property and see what we can find. And hopefully we find some good stuff. Now, how the heck am I going to get through here? Um, I'll just walk around this way. Dang, this place is still in pretty good condition. It's only been abandoned for roughly three years. So, I mean, obviously enough time for stuff to get overgrown, but still. All right, we got the key here. Let's open up the door. There we go. All right, so... They cut off the power and water a long time ago to this place. So a lot of the, oh boy. Oh, oh, there's old food in here. No, <laughs> that's not going to smell good. All right. I want to go check what's out here. All right. So we're on the upper level now here and it doesn't look like there's much. Yeah. It looks like all the rooms are pretty much empty. This is confusing. I'm, I'm wondering what happened. Let's just jump up here real quick. So on the property here, we got one garage there. And then I think we got another garage over here. So we're going to go check on those in a minute here, but just got to jump down here. Can I jump? Yep. Oh, I slipped. I was supposed to grab onto that there. Oh, well. All right. So we got a pool back here. Dang, this cannot, this water in here cannot be good. It looks good. Hmm. Weird. All right. Looks like there's a bit of a cabana. No, it's, that's not what it is. It's a more of a patio, I guess. I mean, I don't know if this place, maybe if we put a ton of work into this place, it might actually be able to be sold at some point. I don't know. All right. There is a sea can here. We're going to check out the garages in a minute because that's what I'm most excited for. But looks like there's a sea can here. No, nope, not too much. All right. Um, well, doesn't look like there's much else here. So we're going to go check out the garages. All right. So there's a door here, but I did not get the key to the door. So I don't know how I'm supposed to open this thing here. Um, can I? Oh, you can kind of see over the window. Looks like there's some vehicles in there. I figured there might be. Yeah, since there's no power to this place, the uh, garage door opener does not work. Um, I, I guess I'm going to have to break into here. So I should have a crowbar in the truck here. So we're going to see if we can get into this place. And then after, we'll try to get into that garage over there. Now let's grab the crowbar. You know what? I'm going to take the entire truck over there. I could probably just drive it right through the front of the garage door. But uh, yeah, I feel like that would wreck some stuff. All right, we got the crowbar here. Let's see if we can get this open. Oh, there we go. Got it. Is that an excursion? It is an excursion. What the heck? So this is a, what is it? I think this is like a 2011 excursion. I think this was like the last year they made excursions or something. I could be wrong, but dang. I mean, this would line up with the fact that the place was abandoned like three years ago, but shoot. Okay. Oh, squeeze through here. There we go. And a Yamaha Grizzly. A two, this is a 2013 model. So that makes sense too. Huh. So I'm wonder if they just were putting a bunch of stuff out here and they just left it. Now, the seller of this place was anonymous, so we don't know who sold this place to us. I, this seems weird. Like, isn't just this just like a weird combination of vehicles? Like you got an excursion and then a, a Yamaha ATV, like an excursion out of all things. It, is it is this thing tooted? Is this squat? No, I don't think so. I think it's just how it's sitting. That's just a weird combination of vehicles to have. Oh, come, come on, go through the door. I'm going to see if I can get this door open here let's try pry it up there we go we got the door pried up here i just it seems like such a weird combination of vehicles to have but now that i've seen this i mean we, we paid a lot of money for this property so it's obviously the resale value of the house is what's going to pay for most of it but hey any vehicles are just extras at this point but i'm curious to see what's in the other shed there but what i do plan to do with this place is completely clean it right up clean the yard up clean the whole mansion up because there's stuff growing all the way up the side of this and yeah it's Probably used to get cleaning and a lot of work to the place. But if we can get that done, I feel like we can turn a pretty good profit. But dang, that's just that's such a weird combination. Okay, let's hop in the truck here and let's go over to the other garage. I'm curious to see what's over there. Hopefully something as good as this or better. Honestly, that'd be cool. I want to keep that ATV for myself. That thing looks pretty cool. 
All right, let's check what's in this garage. All right, let's try this door here. Door is jammed too. Okay, good thing I got the crowbar. Hold on, what is that? No way. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We bought a mansion with a helicopter on it. Is this thing even legal with, the, with this stuff on it? I highly doubt it, but dang, <laughs> what the heck? I noticed something when I was going back here, but I kind of ignored it. Yeah, when I was driving in here, I saw the tail of something. I thought that might've just been some old junk, but no, it's a helicopter. What? I know these things go for like stupid amounts of money. So I'd be curious to see what this would go for. I mean, it's obviously there's no way in heck it's going to run, but whew. okay then. Well, I, enough about that, I guess. I want to see what's in this shop. It got our door open. What? Okay, come on. I was really hoping for something better than a go-kart. First, I get a, a really nice truck, a really nice quad, a helicopter, <laughs> and then I get a go-kart. A stinking go-kart. This thing's probably only worth a few hundred bucks, but hey, it's still cool. That's still cool. Okay, if it's covered, it's got to be nice. That's all I got to say. If, if Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what this is. You know what? I got to get this door open. I got to get some light on this place. So once we get this open here, depending on what's under that cover there, I'm thinking I'm going to go back home because I only live about like 45 minutes away from here. I'm going to grab my trailer because I'm going to get this stuff out of here. But okay, let's let's open this up. All right, got the door open there. These doors are such a pain, especially since they cut the power out of this place. All right, let's uh, let's take off this cover. You know, to be honest, I was kind of expecting something like this. If they have a cover on it, I mean, hey, this is this is cool. What is this exactly? All right, don't quote me on this, but I believe I just looked it up on my phone. This is a 2006 Chevy Corvette. Oh, dang, this thing is it's been sitting covered. So there's hardly any dust on it or yeah, it's it's clean. Man, this is such a nice car. I wonder how much this is worth. I don't, I don't even know. I'm going to have to take this to someone who knows a bit more about cars than I do. But you know what? I got a pair of uh, booster cables and a gas can. I'd be curious to see if I get this thing going. Because this thing is cool. Okay, maybe for starters, if I can figure out how to pop the hood on this thing. Yeah, I <laughs> I can't I can't pop the hood on it. Okay, well, I'm going to head back to the house here. I'm going to grab a trailer. And we're going to see if we can get some of this stuff out of here. I mean, this stuff is cool. You know what? You know, we're going to try to get the go-kart running. All right, we got it boosted. We got some fresh fuel in it. Oh, man, this is cool. All right, let's 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 see if it goes. Oh, oh, we're going. Oh, yeah, this is cool. Oh, I love this so much. <laughs> oh, this is so great. Oh, I'm going to use... Oh, oh, no, no. We hit the fence. Oh, no. <laughs> this thing is so cool. Oh, I love this so much. Oh, yeah, we're taking this back home. There's no way we're not. Oh, yeah, this is way too cool. All right, I want to get this... Get, ah, can I get this thing on the back of the truck? We're going to try. And then we're going to head back home, grab the trailer, and get some of this stuff out of here. All right, we got it on the truck here. I strapped it down. Man, this thing is so fun. Oh, I can't wait to take it home and use it some more. All right, well, we're going to head home, grab that trailer, and we'll be back here in a little bit. Also, let me know if you guys want to see a video on me restoring that mansion and then pretty much doing a, a sort of house flipper deal on it. But anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we're just headed back to the mansion here. We got the 40-foot PJ. We also dropped the go-kart off. But yeah, the 40-foot PJ, I think we should be able to fit everything on here. And then I've also put a little winch in the truck. So if we need to winch anything on there, like that Corvette, because I don't know how to open the stinking hood, let it alone get that thing running, we're probably going to have to winch it on the trailer. All right, here we are, back at the mansion here. You know what? I have time, so I'm actually going to go back in that house and see if I can find anything. Because, I mean, if they abandon nice cars like this, who knows what else they abandoned in that house. What the heck? I think I just heard something going on. I heard something fall. Where was that? Something in this cabinet. What the heck? Oh, I think that's a raccoon. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to I'm just gonna open it and run. Oh, run, 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 run. Get out of here. All right. So we got both of these things running here. I just realized this excursion is almost the exact same color as my Ford pretty close all right let's load this thing up here oh i don't know if we're gonna be able to fit everything on here that might be a bit of an issue all right i decided we're gonna load up the uh atv last we're gonna try to get this corvette on now all right so we got the corvette on here i you know what we might be able to fit the uh yamaha on the ramps here we're gonna try that well <laughs> the the ford's squatting a little bit now we got a lot of weight on the back there i probably should have put that excursion towards the back to be honest might have been a little bit better because that's a lot of weight right in the front, but oh well. I think it'll be fine. We're only towing for about like half an hour, so it's not a super long haul. But I think we're going to head out, try to get some of this stuff. Uh, Well, find out what it's worth. Maybe get some of it sold. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the episode for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. Let me know if you guys want to see 
an episode completely going over this place, doing a bunch of construction work on it. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see y'all the next one. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank, and it ain't that long, till I'm back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck, down at the dock, it's time to do some cruising.